Hello everyone, it is me, Jared Gaming here, and welcome to, um, the 2021 announcement. I forgot to do one for, you know, well, I didn't really necessarily forget to do one, but, like, uh, I'm doing it at least a little bit earlier than I usually do. Like, I think when I do, like, a New Year's, like, update or something, it's usually, like, around March or something that I start kind of getting into, like, the, hey, this is what I'm gonna be doing and stuff. So, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna do it as early as I can because there is an update that I did want to do and I don't know how big this is but um, Just in case if for whatever reason some of you guys do care um, I'm going to just you know do specifically this Anyways without further ado, let's let me just you know get started with the whole update and stuff So just to start things off I think the biggest update that I want to do is that I actually plan on privating or at least deleting most, if not a lot, of my old videos that I did from, I think, maybe 2015 to sometime around maybe, like, 2017. Depending on, you know, how old the video is or how kind of out of touch it is with how I do it. Just basically how out of touch the video style is with my channel and stuff. The reason why I kind of want to do this is that, number one, I, I know that my channel is, you know, kind of dead, but... Um, I kind of wanted to, I kind of thought about privating my old videos because I thought that if I were to eventually garner a large majority of fans to, you know, you know, just basically be on my channel, I thought that in a way it would probably be somewhat of a bad idea to have some of my old videos kind of just existing on my channel. And I mean, they're not bad or anything, but I feel like the way it is just feels like it's like exposing some part of me that like I kind of just don't want on the internet in some way shape and form so um i mean if it, like again um i feel like that just eventually if for whatever reason this year actually does become one of my strongest years which you know i highly doubt it but if it does i feel like it'd be best to private some of my old videos because again i could probably get the wrong fans that would probably um use it for something and that it would probably get me in trouble for something i don't know what but i have a feeling that it might happen the second reason why i also wanted to private my old videos is because there's this youtube point system that um it's a little bit complicating and i don't know if privating my old videos would actually help it out but youtube has been exposed multiple maybe not multiple times but as far back as like 2018 i think where they have this little like point system where um basically depending on how your channel goes they actually give a point on your channel and depending on how high or low your channel point has it would basically determine where your video basically where your channel gets pushed in the algorithm and i don't know if part i i have a strong feeling that my channel probably has a low point because partly because of my old videos and again i don't know if it primarily is because of my old videos but i want to at least see what happens if i private my old videos to see if like maybe it would like strengthen up my point system or something and that way um you know i wouldn't just like be dead except for like you know those two videos that are like my most popular videos but you know it's just like a i want to see what happens and you know like i said i am privating it so if it doesn't really change anything or you know by like next year or something i probably might like bring them back but like unlisted or something i'm not sure it again it really depends on how it goes so um it's more of just like a let's wait and see what happens you know the second update i kind of want to do is um try to figure out how i'm going to stream more often and when i say stream more often i'm talking like streaming a little bit more than like actually making content videos you know i've been thinking about this because it mostly just comes down to like would i rather you know stream for like maybe five to seven hours and get like a couple thousand views like you know practically a thousand views per stream and you know actually make a lot of money out of it or would i make a video that even though i like it it doesn't really seem to grab a lot of eyes on it so um it really just comes down to whether which one do i want to do clearly the easy alternative or clearly the harder alternative the harder alternative you know i like it the most but why do the harder alternative if not only am i starting to lose a little bit more motivation into actually making videos when i could just sit down maybe even for like three hours or so maybe even less and um just 
get a lot of views and get, like just literally just get as much as many views as I always do. Another update I kind of wanted to do, and again, this is kind of with my live streams, is kind of make like a scheduled live stream. So for my New Year's live stream, we did this thing where um, we basically had multiple games we decided to play, and I decided to do that this, this little schedule of um, what game I was going to play on the channel, and or not on the channel, but like the live stream. And um, basically, like, you know, it was like, what was it? On the New Year's, I was like 10 p.m. We started playing Splatoon 2 and like 1 a.m. We did Among Us and like 5 a.m. We did Smash, I think. Or no, it was like 2.30 a.m. We did Smash. I kind of want to try that with all of my live streams. I want to see. Well, I mean, maybe not some of the recent ones because um, I did this little bet with the whole Splatoon thing. It, you'll, you'll find out once I post the video. Um, but I kind of want to try fitting in at least like maybe like two games per stream maybe like maybe like do it to where I would stream smash and then later on I would play like whatever game I want to play on stream or um, you know I would you know play Splatoon 2 and then you know eventually we play Among Us or something you know basically and then also I kind of wanted to have a little bit more of a better schedule and like hey I'm going to end at specifically this time or start playing this game at specifically this time, so I, I kind of want to be a little bit more organized with how I stream things, so not only because I kind of like the feel of being organized with something on a stream, and plus I, I feel like it's a little bit more cooler, but um, I feel like it would give me a better idea of how long do I want to stream, how long do I feel comfortable with streaming, and um, if it actually garners the attention because like I could probably grab the people that want to play Smash with me and at the same time grab the attention of the people that want to play Among Us with me possibly and also grab the attention of the people that want to play Splatoon 2 with me. I kind of realize that I very much have a divided fan base so I kind of want to at least somehow figure out if I can like grab all those people in one stream. I mean it's probably not going to work out the way I expect it to but if it does work out, then, you know, yay. And, you know, I'll just try doing something like that more often. This isn't really an update, but something I kind of want to update you guys on is that, um, I do, again, once have college and stuff this year. In fact, as I'm recording this video, I have college in the next nine, no, not nine. I have college in the next three days. So on the 19th, I am getting back to college and, um, doing college stuff and stuff so um this may potentially be a year of like i may be a little inconsistent with when i upload because last year i was still technically in high school and the difference between you know the difference between last year and 2019 was um th there was the whole virus pandemic stuff so i got to stay indoors for a good amount of weeks I mean, I still had to do online school, but it didn't really change the fact that I had a much easier time actually uploading to my YouTube because, you know, not only was my summer a lot more earlier, but, you know, the whole pandemic and stuff, so I had a much longer spring break, so I got to do a lot of things that um, I definitely would not have been able to do had the pandemic never happened. Not saying it's a good thing that the pandemic happened, but there are some good things that have come out from the pandemic, for my side at least. Not a lot. But some. So, yo, you know, now that I'm doing college and stuff more, you know, in the future and this year, and also the fact that the pandemic seems to be kind of dying down a little bit, so I'm doing a lot more physical college now. So, again, I'll have to find a consistent time of, like, streaming and uploading and all that types of stuff. So, I'm trying to aim for uploading at least in the morning, mostly because I know that there are definitely some of you kids out there who, you know, are allowed to go to your school, eat some lunch, have your phone and stuff. I, I Honestly, I can't imagine a single one of you kids not having your phones at all, especially during this time of year. So if one of you, if so, I do want to upload a video in the morning so that that way when you get your lunch break, you can actually be able to watch one of my videos. And, um, you know, kind of just like, yo, guys, gotta look at this guy. He's kind of cool. You should totally check him out. His name is Jared Gaming. And I kind of want to try consistently streaming on Saturday because, um, you know, I did a little, like, you know, stream. Or I did a little, like, YouTube poll to see whether if you guys, you know, what time did you guys want to see me stream and stuff. And a good majority of you guys said Saturday would be the best day. So I'm going to do everything I can to be more consistent with streaming on Saturday since, um... 
I've been kind of still been streaming on whenever day I felt like it, you know, weekday, weekend, literally did not matter. I just streamed on that day. So it really depends on like, well, again, I'm going to do everything I can to be more consistent with when I stream. So that's that. That's also an update, I guess. Also, um, another update. It, this is kind of like a big maybe. I may be more not only into doing more Smash content on my channel, but um, like I said in my little like 2020 rewind, I may actually be reopening the Splatoon 2 1v1s and Smash Bros. Ultimate 1v1s. Again, it's a big maybe because I don't know how my college year is going to look, but if I do reopen them, it get, at least it gives me some like easy content to like kind of put out there like I did with, uh, what was it, 2019, I think? Where, um, you know, I just did a 1v1 with someone, just, you know, splice up the best parts, you know, without the, you know, waiting time and just, you know, got into the thing and, you know, it actually garnered a good amount of attention. So again, it's a big maybe, but I may be able to reopen the Splatoon 2 1v1s and also at the same time try out some Smash Ultimate 1v1s, mostly because, um, I have a bit of a smaller fan base now than I did in, like, 2019 and even, maybe even 2018, so... Um, I'm kind of just seeing like, I'll, you know, cause it'll probably start out small and then I'll probably get the amount of people that I want later on to, you know, kind of just, you know, everything. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So again, be on the lookout for when I do reopen Splatoon 2 1v1s and at the same time open up Smash Ultimate 1v1s. I'll probably even dedicate a video to announcing it. So whenever that does happen, big thumbs up, right? Anyways, uh, I think that potentially might be it i'm not sure um be on the lookout for you know more smash content uh i'll do whatever i can to stream on saturdays um i have college so i might be a little inconsistent with my uploading in particular and um i might open you know the 1v1s and stuff and yeah i think that honestly might be it and you know privating my old video so hope you guys enjoy watching this video for whatever reason if you did give it a like share the video and subscribe to the channel also please comment down below just just comment down whatever you feel like commenting down because apparently supposedly the more you comment down on my videos um the more it pushes my videos into the algorithm not saying you should spam comment but you know please at least just say anything other than nothing it's it's just really appreciative if you do because then again it will push my videos into the youtube algorithm much more often than not so you know again if you guys enjoy watching this video, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel, comment down below how you feel, and subscribe to the channel if whatever, you know, it's it's like 1 in the morning, so I'm kind of losing track of what I want to say, so, um, till next time, see you guys later, God bless you guys, have a wonderful day slash night slash whenever you're seeing this, and, uh, yeah, uh, bless 2021, let's just hope that this is a better year than it was last year.